Hey there, welcome to my curls. Welcome to my home that is filled with dog hair, y'all. <laughs> my name is Renee, and if you are new to my channel, hello, and let me introduce my, myself, and this is what's going on here in the floor. This big guy is Pollux, and the little dude behind me is Maxie. These are my two dogs, <laughs> and they, if I get in the floor, it's like a signal for them to have a big play session. <laughs> That's what's going on. We're, get your booty down. We're just gonna have to ignore them so I can keep talking. I'm gonna share with you in this video the products and the things that work to get the dog hair off your couch, to get the dog hair off your bed. There's something different that you need to get the dog hair off your clothes and to get the hair out of your dog so that it doesn't come in your house. And I have all this figured out. Pollux is shedding. He has a huge shedding problem. See this long hair? <laughs> He's shedding like crazy, y'all. And I have never had any dog other than a miniature schnauzer. Schnauzers don't shed. I have never had to deal with dog hair until we adopted Pollux four months ago from our local animal shelter. And when we adopted him, I knew because of the mixed breed that he is, border collies are going to shed. But I had no idea, oh, just how much he was going to shed. Dog hair is all over my house, and I cannot stand it. Do y'all see this? They have become the best buddies. Pollux gets down low. He gets on Maxie's level. He is so sweet and so gentle with Maxie. I hear me. Because, oh, they wanted to be in the video, too. <laughs> Pollux, you're standing on Maxi. You're standing on Maxi. <laughs> Pollux is losing hair like crazy. I am not used to that. I do not like the dog hair in my house. We have tried so many things to help him to not shed as much, to get the hair off of my couch. Like I cannot sit down on my couch when it is covered in white dog hair. I can't do it. The hair has got to come off the couch. <laughs> and then he has never gotten on our bed until last week. I don't know what changed or what happened, but he just jumped up on the bed and he has been up there every single night since. He's decided that he loves our bed. He's up there just long enough to get dog hair all over our comforter. So when I lay down to get in bed and dog hair is on my face and I'm, and I'm spitting out dog hair, this is, not, this is not gonna work. So the point of this video is I have tried and bought and loved and hated lots of contraptions to try to solve my dog hair problem. And I'm gonna share all of these in the video with you. It seems that different things are needed to handle hair in different situations. There are a couple things that we found that actually do the job. And I'm excited to share them with you because y'all, the dog hair. And if you have a dog that sheds, I'm here for you. I have got this figured out. I'm going to, in this video, go in different rooms of the house because they're hair in different situations. And I'm gonna show you the products that I found that worked and explain to you the things that I tried that did not work. Let's get to it. Let's get to the video. Let me tell you how to solve your dog hair problems, y'all, because I have got this figured out. Buddy. What are you doing on my bed? What are you doing on my bed? Buddy, are you so sleepy? You're getting hair on my bed, buddy. So this is my bed, guys. This, this is where Maxie sleeps in his bed on our bed. But Pollux has decided lately that he wants to lay on my bed. I got out of the shower today, Pollux was on my bed. I came in the bedroom today to brush my teeth. Pollux was on the bed. He was up here for about 10 minutes earlier today. And so I'm going to show you what I'm going to get in 10 minutes. And this is the Chom Chom Roller. It just has like a 
velvety roller with sort of like a squeegee type thing right here. And it doesn't have any batteries, it's just handheld. And this is the compartment that collects the hair when you roll it. So this is what you do with the Chom Chom. You wanna roll it back and forth pretty vigorously so that you hear a clicking sound. You do not wanna go slow because that's not gonna work. There's something about the clicking and the squeegee thing that I don't know, really know how it works, but it works. But you gotta, you gotta do it vigorously enough to hear that clicking sound. So here we go. Hear it? You hear the clicking? And I don't feel like that it's tearing or snagging my comforter at all. I'm gonna go this way too. Let's see what's in here. This is what was on my bed. This was from 10 minutes of him laying on my bed while I was in the shower. And I would have been sleeping with that tonight. That is disgusting. Chom Chom Roller. You definitely need one for your couches, your bed, your furniture. It's got a roller and it honestly is like a squeegee right there. And then this roller is coated in, it's almost like like a little velvet, velvety fabric. It's hard to explain. It is not rough. It is very soft, very velvety. And then it has this squeegee thing. And then when you get the hair up, which I'm gonna do this to my couch, you pop open this compartment and the hair is in there. So, I did a chair this morning. <laughs> and cleaned this sucker out. So I'm gonna show you, it's empty, and now I'm gonna do my couch and I'm gonna show you what's in here. Pollock, what you doing on the couch, bud? Mm -hmm. Did you do that? Did you get the hair on the couch? <laughs> you don't wanna talk about it? You don't wanna talk about it, buddy? The hair on the couch? Mom will get it off, it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> mom will get it all. No, sweet boy. This is my couch, y'all. Navy blue couch. And when you get up close, look at the dog hair on my couch from this dude. Anyway, this is my couch. And then he gets hair all over the front of the couch. And then of course, there's Maxie, he gets no hair on the couch. Take this Chom Chom and you run it back and forth. You wanna hear that clicking sound? If you do it really slow like this and you don't get the click, that is not correct. Okay, I'm gonna show you what all we picked up from the couch. Can you see this? Look at that. This is what was on my couch that you all saw me just pick up. And now, look at my couch. It is perfectly clean until Pollux gets on the couch again. So let me show you something that did not work. I saw so many people on YouTube putting on rubber gloves and running their, their hands across the couch and they claimed that it picked up the dog hair. And I swear I saw a guy doing it and it picked up the dog hair. It does not work for me and I wanna show you. All right, can you see all the dog hair on the couch? And I'm gonna rub it with my rubber gloves. And see, it's just kind of moving it around. Like it doesn't 
pull up the hair like people says it does. Right, Pollux? It doesn't pull up the hair. It does not pull up the hair. Like, there's, no, there's a little bit on my gloves, but you can see the couch is still covered. So let me, I got my Chom Chom out. Clicking. Vigorous rubbing. Now, no hair on my couch. This is what you need, the Chom Chom Roller. Thumbs down, rubber gloves. Thumbs up, Chom Chom Roller. Let me show you something. Can you see the hair? Look, one touch on him, let me do it again. I just rub my hand and look at the hair that is coming off of him. This is what is falling all over my house all day long, like the hair never stops. I, I don't understand. You would think he would be bald at this point, but just look at that. Can you see the hair in my hand? I have discovered a little thing that will get its fingers, and I'm, I'm explaining this here before we go outside. It's called a Furminator. This is a magic product, like teeth, and then it's got a blade in there. Can you see that? So what this does, can you scoop back? This Furminator, when you rake it down, <laughs> smelling my microphone, actually grabs a hold of the undercoat and like cuts it out, sort of. That's what it feels like to me when I do it. It cuts out the undercoat. Now, I did this two days ago and I'm not going to do it in my house. I'm going to take you outside and we're going to, I call it. I call it raking the dog. We're going to rake Pollux with the Furminator. Do you see the hair fly? And you're going to be able to see how much hair this gets off. Now, this is not something you want to do every day. And if you press too hard, it can kind of scrape their skin. So Pollux is okay with me doing this for three, four, five minutes, and then he's over it. He doesn't want me to do it anymore, and I can tell when he's done with it, he like snaps his head around and looks at me like, okay, enough, enough, mom, stop. And so I only do it every couple days, and I only do it for a couple minutes because that's really the, all he can tolerate. And this, Maxie wants me to do it on him too. He sees me raking Pollux, and he wants me to do it on him. Can you come here, Moo? Come here, we'll demonstrate it. We'll just, we'll use Moo as a demonstrator. So if you just very gently rub it down your dog, right, Maxie? It will pull out the hair. Of course, Maxie doesn't have an undercoat to pull out, so it's not getting anything from him, but he just likes to, to be part of it too. So when I rake Pollux, Maxie generally walks up and I rake him too. But I'm gonna take you outside and do Pollux because hair is everywhere. I do not recommend the Furminator in your house. Now, the Furminator comes in different sizes. So what it is, when you go on Amazon to buy the Furminator, you need to pay attention to the weight of your dog and the length of your dog's hair. So this is one for a short-haired dog and 45 pounds. So this is the appropriate size that it said that I get. If you have a long-haired dog, just make sure that you're getting the correct blade length or it's not going to do anything for you. I just rake the dog. See how much hair I'm getting off of Pollux in one swipe and you just press the button and the hair comes loose. So I just continue to rake him over and over, especially in his hind end area. He really gets thick hair back there. And you can see all the hair just floating off of him and all the hair I'm getting loose. And he really gets a lot of hair on his neck area. So I just concentrate on those areas as much as he'll let me. Look at that hair. That is two scoopfuls I've gotten off. And you can just see all of the hair accumulating on his back. So I just keep brushing.
Oh, look at the hair flying. Keep on going. Keep on raking the dog. And like I said earlier, I only do this every couple of days. Don't do it every day or it can irritate your dog's skin. Look at the hair. I think this is scoop number four. And we're going to call it quits. The hair just keeps on coming. <laughs> So you can see how much hair that I got off with the Furminator. A lot of it blew away, but thi whoops. <laughs> this is about half of what came off in just that minute or two that you all saw me raking the dog with the Furminator. But now the fun part is, look at my pants. I, I am covered in dog hair from head to toe. And these little tape rollers, honestly, are the best solution to dog hair on your clothing. So if you've never used one of these, surely you have, but you just pull off the outer coating of the piece of tape and you're left with a roll of sticky tape. You see the dog hair? These are my favorite little comfy pants too. And then after so long, the tape just gets covered in hair. It's not gonna pull any more up. Well, so you just peel off another layer. And you keep on going for it. Okay, so now my dog is hair free my couch is hair free my clothes are now hair free and i'm going to show you the best way that i have found to keep the hair off of your floor all right let's go back inside alex is a sweet boy mm-hmm with all the other hair going everywhere mm-hmm can y'all see the hair it's falling everywhere do it again can you see the hair falling off of him into our floor? Look at it, look at it flying away. Oh my gosh. We got a hair problem. Okay, <laughs> He just wants hugs, B. Yeah. He just wants hugs. Right, Pollux? He just wants some hugs. <laughs> nope. Oh, oh, <laughs> no. more he said, just more. <laughs> just keep doing it. Oh my gosh, look at the hair on the floor. Look in the hair. You see the hair? Just from freaking petting him. You see it coming off? It's like you turn on a motor and the hair falls off. Yeah. This is what is in my floor. Pollux, why are you shedding? You're on one this morning. Oh. <laughs> 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 what? He just won love. He was just on my bed. So for the dog hair on the floor, let me tell you what I did, what I bought, and why I sent it back. Just those little robot disc vacuums that you program and they go around and vacuum your house while you're gone or while you're sleeping. And we bought one and we were so excited. And I thought this is the solution to keeping my floors clean. This is how we're gonna keep the dog hair off of our floors. Great. So we got the thing programmed, we got it all set up. Ugh, I was so disappointed. We had this thing for five days. On day five, I was so frustrated and so annoyed that I said, that's it. And we packaged that sucker up and we sent him back to Amazon. Oofy got stuck on everything. It would constantly get stuck or turned up on its side or wedged underneath something and it would start beeping and I would have to go find it and fix it or turn it off and reprogram it or take it back to its home to let it recharge. No, thank you. 
Honestly, the best thing that works is just a good old vacuum. But for now, I just vacuum the floors. It's kind of that simple. Now, I need your help. I have a dog hair problem that I have yet to be able to solve. So we're washing Pollux's dog bed and his blanket that he lays on. And because we have dog hair on our clothes, I'm getting dog hair inside my washing machine. And it is then appearing on our newly washed clothes. And I do not know what to do about that. So if you all have a solution for me, I would love to hear it. Leave it in the comments below, letting me know how to get the dog hair out of my washing machine. Two products you need if you have dog hair in your house, Ferminator and a Chom Chom Roller. These get my thumbs up. So I'm gonna link these two products in the description box below so that you can go to Amazon and order them for you and for your dog to get rid of the dog hair. Okay, that is my review of some dog hair products some dog hair solutions, some things that worked for me, and some things that didn't work for me. So thank you all for watching. Pollux and Maxie say see ya. They're out running around the yard somewhere right now, and I'll see you later.